on a Hebro 77 here with yet another G.I. Joe action figure review. And today's going to be Mainframe, the 1987 G.I. Joe computer specialist. Now enough of that, let's get on with the review. And this is the 1987 mainframe. He was available in 1987 and then again in 1988, discontinued for 1989. I do have mainframes, by the way, mainframe, mainframes file card in his accessories. We will look at those here in just a moment. Mainframes file card. We will read that in just a moment. As you can see, Mainframe had the average body for the G.I. Joes of 1987. He had a movable waist that could move around with a rubber O-ring looped in the inside around his waist. He had arms that could bend at the elbow at 95 degrees. And they could rotate all the way around. He had a helmet with a silver emblem on the front. I'm not quite sure what the this uh, emblem stands for. He came with a grayish uniform. The grayish uniform had a bandolier going across the chest. A gun holster with a silver pistol inserted into it. And some black uh, details here above his sh uh, shirt pocket. I'm not sure if there's pins or maybe even... And looks like he had some... The same gray color pants that matches his shirt. Uh, here on the side he had some... Looks like pockets of some sort. Maybe some floppy disk might have went in here. Which would have been the standard type computer stuff here at the time in 1987. And now let's get to Mainframe's accessories. Main 1987 Mainframe came with this backpack. Which has an antenna. Looked like some kind of communications backpack. But I bet it was specialty for computers and it came from not here and I'll show you what that hooked up with and he came with this with the contents cards can um, with the contents card described describe as a um, carry computer let's turn the camera this way please is a portable computer he could hook this computer up to anything in the field, and as you can see, it comes with keyboards here. I'm not sure if that is upside down. I do believe so. Turn it this way. There we go. There you can see all the dials and switches. And as you can see here, you've got your buttons, and he get on the computer here. I imagine he hooked this up into the field. And now let's get back to the communications backpack. This backpack, let's do it this way. It came with a uh, piece like this. Uh, this, I always thought it was a communicator. And he used it as a communicator on the G.I. Joe Dick series. Uh, Sunbow series, sorry. <laughs> Don't get those two confused. And here is the hose which is attached to this piece here. And here we see mainframe all geared up and ready to go. Ah! We see mainframe all geared up and ready to go. As he's got his hose there. Let me turn this this way now again. Ah, oh, my thumb gets in the way. And there we go. There's mainframe all geared up. I had trouble getting that hose uh, to stay connected with the backpack. And as you can see there, he's got the communicator thing in his hand. He's got the uh, luggage, th sorry, luggage thing. He's got the computer in that hand. And now let's take a quick look at Mainframe's file card. 
mainframe's fog card. Mainframe's fog card. And as you can see, there's not enough light in here. Of course there's not, because my shadow's getting in the way. But I'll hold up the file card so you guys can see it. Mainframe, codename Mainframe. Computer Specialist, full file name, Parker Blaine L. Primary Military Specialist, Computer Technology, Secondary Military Specialty, Infantry, Birthplace, Phoenix, Arizona. And now I'll read the file card to you. Mainframe, I'll have to pull my eyes away from the screen. Mainframe enlisted in the Army Airborne at the age of 17 and made it over to the Southeast Asia for the last year of hostilities. They're talking about Vietnam there, in case you haven't noticed. Just in time to get his combat infantry, infantryman's badge, he left the Army to get his degree from MIT on the GI Bill and did a stint toy toiling and the uh, antiseptic corridors of Silicon, Vi Silicon Valley, making big bucks and fighting off boredom with a stick. Luckily, the Marines were looking for a few good men with just with just his qualifications. The proper papers were signed and mainframe was back in uniform. Okay, Whew. and here at the bottom it says, Too much of modern battlefield is computer coordinated. Not to have, not to have a computer specialist right out there in the field with you. Problem is, most hackers don't exactly fit the combat profile. Mainframe is the exception. He was 10 years older then the next oldest trainee at Paris Island, and he still finished at the top of his class. He's got brains, but he's hard. Uh, well, if he's got brains and he's hard, oh, never mind, that doesn't sound right. Anyway, there is your file card from Mainframe. This file card was, of course, cut out of a G.I. Joe card back. I do not have the full card back. And we will take one last look at mainframe here. As you can see, um, pretty good figure and all, I would have to say. I really like this figure. I had this figure growing up as a kid. I Even then, I could never uh, keep the hose attached to him. And there's your action figure review of 1987 Mainframe. I hope you enjoyed it, and please thumbs up it if you did. Thumbs down it if you didn't. This has been Hero77 for yet another G.I. Joe action figure review. Yo, Joe!